What's good, y'all? Back with another video, and I'm so sorry for the beater. I know you guys don't want to see that. But anyhow, I'm not going to be before you long. I uh, just want to encourage everybody that is out there, um, just to say briefly, life is worth living. Um, right now, I know a lot of people go through suicide, suicidal thoughts. A lot of people go through depression. Um, one thing is, I, I just want to say is that you're not alone. Uh, with walking through those things and you can overcome that you can beat that you don't have to live under that um just from a personal side i have went through that um one thing that the devil tries to do is he tries to to make us feel like number one that we're all alone and then once he gets you there he tries to take you into a place of of racing thoughts um just scattering thoughts everywhere for example like making you think that there's no purpose for your life now that you feel all alone, there's no purpose for your life, uh, what's the point in you living? And then once he gets you to that point, uh, and he just keeps throwing all these things at you, um, he he tries to coerce you to, to do something to yourself. Because now that you're already down, now that you're already out, and you feel like there's no, there's no other way, there's no other options, uh, he continues to lie to you and tell you that this is the way out. But I wanna say that that's a lie. Um, you have uh, um, a lot of options, and that's that's not one. Um, first of all, I just want you to know uh, that you are beautifully and wonderfully made uh, by God, and that there is a purpose and a plan for your life, and life is worth living. I know that we go through a lot of things in life that are treacherous. You know, we lose people, we lose loved ones. Um, the things, tragic things, have happened in the lives of a lot of us. Uh, whether, like I just said, whether if it's loss or things have happened to you or, you know, things that you have done personally. But I just want to say that you don't have to live with those burdens. You don't have to carry those burdens all of your life because you have someone who says that he forgives you and that he wants to have a relationship with you and he wants to clean you up and make you whole inside. And his name is Jesus. And so I'm so thankful that the Lord has made me whole. I have personally Again, I have personally went through those things and I have overcome those things. And just let me give you an example, right? So I've been through things in my life uh, from childhood all the way up until adulthood. I've been through things, right? And whenever I gave my life over to Christ, you know, I kind of just, you know, I thought those things were done and that it, they, they didn't need to be dealt with, right? And so I am free. You know, God has given me freedom through his son. And to make a long story short, just because you just because I uh, tried to suppress those things down deep down within me. Didn't mean that it was gone, didn't mean that I, I, I didn't have to deal with it because periodically that thing will come back up. Right. So I had to deal with it. I had to face it head on. But the greatest thing is knowing that that I didn't have to do it alone because yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me. You know, King of Kings and Lord of Lords is with me. You know what I mean? So I didn't have to battle this thing alone. And so anyhow, I went through different things. I really just don't want to elaborate on that, but um, we all go through stuff no matter what it is. But the thing is, it's about dealing with those things head on. It's, it's about not suppressing those things in your life that you have been through. It's about expressing that to someone that you can trust. First and foremost, number one, forgiving and forgetting. A lot of people say, oh, I'm going to forgive you, but I never forget what you did. The thing is, if you don't forget what that person has done and you don't look at that person as a new person every time that you're around them or, or whatnot, you're going to continue to open that wound. You know what I mean? It's like it's like having surgery and, and a, a, having a tumor removed or something like that. Or just say you had a surgery wherever and you get stitches and you continue to take those stitches out. That wound is going to reopen. So you have to forgive and you have to forget. And number two, you have to bless those people that have wronged you and ask the Lord forgiveness for the people that you have wronged. And also number three with the things that have happened in your life, the things that you are dealing with, um, find somebody that you can trust, whether if it's a pastor or or it's a good friend, 
uh, find someone that you can trust, that you can talk to, and that you can get prayer uh, with, or, you know, they can pray for you. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, find somebody that can pray with you, somebody that uh, can, can help you through this, you know, because um, uh, as iron shopping iron, so a friend shopping a friend, that's one thing. And also we carry the burdens of each other, you know, and you're supposed to share the things uh, that you've done, you know, share, share your, your faults with each other. So that's another thing. And I believe lastly, um, tell the truth. Don't hide anything. Be honest with the Lord because he already knows. Be honest with God and be honest with yourself and be honest with whoever you're talking to about whatever situations and getting this stuff out of your life. Because if you don't be honest, it's just going to, it's not going to break this cycle that's going on with you. It's just, it's basically going to continue to add to the ice glacier that, uh, uh, um, that is, uh, within you. So another thing that I want to touch on is, um, after you've done all of these things and you, and you start to heal and, um, you start to feel like you're, you're coming out of this some, but you know, you feel like you're still, uh, getting nowhere at the same time. Don't give up. Uh, start to use the word of God. And I encourage those who, who, who don't have Christ in their life, who have not submitted their Christ, who have not submitted their lives to Christ. I, I deeply, uh, advise you and encourage you to, because whoever the son says free is free indeed. And Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. And no one can come to the father except through him, but he can set you free. He can set you free spiritually. Um, I'm just so thankful for the blood of Jesus and, and what he's done. I'm, I'm so thankful that uh, what he did, he did willingly for me and he did it with no hesitation. So um, that is uh, something I'm very grateful for. But uh, yeah, don't be afraid to speak about these things. Get help. Do not suppress these things. Do not lie to yourself. Be honest with the Lord. Be honest with yourself. Uh, ask the Lord for forgiveness of anything you've done to anybody else, forgive anyone else that has hurt you and forget the things that they've done. Pray for those people, bless those people. And, um, one more thing. I know I said, I'm going to be before you long, but one more thing. Ooh, ooh, excuse me. One more thing is, uh, the enemy, he uses open doors in your life. And what I mean is number one, uh, the devil, for those who are in Christ, the devil has no power or authority over you. God gives us all power and authority to turn over an enemy. Okay? So that's number one. Number two, when you're going through these things, you have to war. Like, you have to use the word of God. Okay? Take, take, take these thoughts and capture those things. Pull them down. Throw that thing away. You know what I mean? You don't have no permission to to continue to, you know, torment our minds and different things like that. Um, so I guess that's all that I have for you guys. Um, I really hope that this encouraged somebody. Um, your life is worth living. I know that some of you are depressed. Some of you have suicidal thoughts. Some of you are anxious, but the Lord can and will set you free of these things. You just have to hold on, continue to fight the good fight. Don't let go of the Lord because he won't let go of you. Deuteronomy 31 6, he will never leave or forsake you. And he won't, some versions say abandon you. I know the New Living Translation says he will never uh, uh, leave or abandon you. So uh, I thank you guys for watching. Please be encouraged. Um, please really take these things into consideration. Um, if you guys need any prayer, any prayer requests at all, uh, inbox me, uh, comment down in the section below so me and my wife can, can, can pray for you or, you know, we can try to get other people in on this, you know, or whatever so that they can pray for you also because, again, you are not alone in whatever situation you're going through. Uh, you, you, even though you feel backed in the corner, that's not your only option. The devil tries to make you feel like this is your only option. This is the only way to make the pain stop. This is the only way out. The devil is a liar and he's the father of lies, but Jesus is the truth. His word is true. All right. 
So believe on him, trust in him, accept him, repent, give his life, give your life over to him. And throw your hands up. All right. God bless you guys. Again, thank you for watching. Be encouraged. Share this video with somebody. I'm out.